What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. So we're gonna try and... Oh, I don't wanna say tackle, because I'm about to be cheesy as hell. But we're gonna try and take this thing down. And we'll see how it goes. I, uh, I'm confident, but at the same time, I'm like, I'm not. Another cat. And I have double the cat. Where does it get rid of one of my cats? Oh my god, I got two cats! I got two cats! Come, double cats! I got two cats! Can't possibly beat me. Double the cats means double the yokai ability spam. Hey, you ugly. Kitties attack this shit, Lord Tengu. <laughs> oh, that was goofy, and I absolutely loved it. There's gotta, I bet there's like a build like this, just like a yokai ability spam build. I mean, it makes sense that you could do like, you know, just have all your gear based around anima gain. I have like uh, something where it's like a chance to not use items when you use them. So you can use the, uh, the summoning bell to summon a cat in to follow you. And then the thing that makes it last even longer, like there's definitely some kind of extra delicious jank build based around the non-stop summoning of cats. That was absolutely silly. I was able to spam my, my boss thing just over and over and over again. All right. Um, I feel like I'm like really low. I mean, well, I am. I'm like out of mats completely pretty much, but as well. Keep until we get to until I get to a boss. I'm gonna keep pushing. Either a boss or a uh, shrine. Oh my god, these things are terrifying. They're strong. I gotta say though, this poison focused ninja build is pretty potent. I know I talked about it before, but I'm definitely gonna have to. Um, I have to go back and just replay that level a couple times. So if I go back and I replay the level just to get my um, get my snake bro leveled all the way up, it's so probably be even more monstrous. But like at the same time, I'm like, do I really want to do this on? It's essentially still just new game. Is it going to be worth it? I don't know. Probably not. Oh, that's, that's a bit of death. It's not going there. Um. So this is where I just was? Yeah, I entered here. Okay. Yeah. Oh, this is progression. This is the, the path forward. Okay. And 
This is a delicious shortcut back to the initial shrine. I think I need to close it from the other side. I thought there was more to this place. I guess it just circled around. Because now that I'm looking at it, it does make... There was more, though. Well, I guess I cleared all this. So I went in, killed that guy. Yeah, went up top, found it. Okay, so yeah, this is the right way. Getting the hot tub together, bro. I still don't know what he is, because he it looks like he has scales and shit on his face. His hands and his feet were obviously scaled. And he has a shell. So it's like a Kappa had sex with a human. Which I guess isn't that far fetched when you consider um, just the, the general approach. I was general approach to this game like we, we are human human yokai hybrid yeah. see the other one got knocked into the water now i wasn't really listening to what wait, why did he part ways with me is he just like this is as far as i go don't approach him unless you want a mauling okay he doesn't want to i wasn't paying attention to him but yeah, I guess he doesn't want to deal with the, the yokai boss that I'm about to go take on. Um. Fuck. I really want to have, like, a shortcut or something. Where I try and tackle all this stuff. Sure, I can slip right past. Shit, the umbrella found me. We're good. We're good. That was some. That was some. Like, wow. I am impressed that we pulled that off. Put the floodgate down. I can enter. I can go this way. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, yes. Oh, God. What an amazing shortcut I've acquired for myself. style right there baby um reduced attack oh i like that if you pop him in the face it 
beacons them down. And then I gotta get the hand cannon on. Hand cannon is silly. And if I don't have ammo for either of them. I see you there. Oh, oh shit. Really? That, that, okay. Ain't gonna lie, it seems a little bullshit, Neo. She was busy being mauled by a giant snake. And uh, despite that, she managed to just go into her animation and grab me. Seems a little, uh, a little bullshit, but you know what? Oh, I'll let you have it. So I could have snuck up top and then drop attacked on that guy. Liking these uh, repositional moves. Like how it'll, it'll hit me and then yank me over to him. My God, what a shitty way to go! I didn't. Oh my! I don't even. I don't even know how. I was just attacking, and my guy was like, "Whoop!" You scooted your ass right off. How many uh, thingies do I got? I do have shinobi boxes. I got three. Five candles. I mean, I don't need a candle, but. I don't know how long, um, I mean, I think that there, there's gotta be a shrine like right before the boss. There's no way to let me run through all this stuff, but obviously I want to, oh. Is that the... When did... I do not remember this shrine. Go away. Oh, this is the water. But I downed the water when I uh, hit the bridge. So we're playing a real dangerous game right now. Do we get to that? Oh, we just okay. Never mind. I am dumb. And there's.
There's another thing down here I want to kill, but where does this lead to? Um, you take that. Just want to see. So my stuff is right there. Got you. Not taking any risks. I will gladly take my stuff back. over here. This might actually be the, the closest shortcut to the boss. Let's take that shrine, sprint past the blobs, climb up here. Final Kodama. Yeah, I think this is my this is my boss shortcut. I think part of the reason this is working so well is I have quite a bit of uh, poison accumulation increase. And this was... okay. So I would have come this way. Run under here. Had to kill them. There would have been stuff up top that I wouldn't have been able to fight. And then swing around. There was a big spooky yokai. Right in there. And this is the shortcut. And there is the shrine. And the boss is this way. Spooky yokai. No, more like a kappa. Come here. It's so one of the only things I'm not all that sure about. So I was looking at some stuff here in the uh, samurai tree, you know, and we have running water heaven, or, uh, or excuse me, key pulse heaven activates when you recover full key from key pulse, applies a special effect that raises the damage by uh, by your next attack. And then we have this, increase your attack strength when you perform a purification with a perfectly timed key pulse. So what is the difference? Is this just like a static, like it's like, it's just a straight up, boost to one attack because I don't see a difference in like a buff showing up 
So I'm not sure, to be honest. Um, anyway, um, yeah, and there's, there's one for each. I mean, I don't know what else I'd get. I don't care about damage boost, stamina, or skill, or arrows. Maybe, maybe match like master. I don't know. And I'm going to get them because they're massives, but... Let me see what's up real fast. I think the boss is just through that door. Nope, the boss is right through there. Okay. Hot spring right before the boss. That's nice. All right, so aside from some unfortunate deaths that were early on, not too shabby. Came through with 70,000 in Rita total. It's gonna give me a samurai skill point, pinch more, and jitsu power. Weapon damage is slowly catching up and evening out. All the sore cores are back. Um, I don't know what I can bother putting on. I think I just, I think I just save. for shiftling uh increase our maximum anima seems like a solid bet i like using yokai abilities uh, i got six cups rainbow twix now you know what? i think i'm gonna solo this thing i'll try soloing it if it seems like i'm struggle busting it we'll pull a thing out but uh i think we'll be okay all right toby kadachi Oh my god. <laughs> Actually, no, maybe it's more like a Nagakuga. It has, it's like, it's kind of squirrel-like. Okay, all right, buddy, listen here. We need to, first things first. Oh my God, you do not mess around. We got him poisoned. Now, can we get him with fire or is he immune to fire? I gotta say, so far, Ninja Build is doing pretty damn well. Holy shit, the Kunai are just ruining his life. Poison ran off. Yeah. Oh my god. I really just that happened. I I ah, ah, ah. ah. How? How did I just whiff that? The fight was literally over. I had to hit him once and I somehow fucked it up. This is unbelievable. The fight it was done. It was absolutely done. He had no health. I just had to walk up and be like whap and he was dead. Oh my god. I spent too much time messing with dumb shit. Let's let's do this the right way. I'm gonna get you a poison. Oh my god, you are aggressive.
Like, wow, he seems quite resilient to just regular old attacks. I think I just need to get up on him and... God, he's fast. He's too fast. I don't know how I can even counter that. He is ass right now. Watching the kunai melt his ass though, that was funny. It was also very, it was very concerning watching how fast my ninja stuff melted him and then how useless I was trying to hit his ass. Like, I don't even want to imagine that fight using something like an axe where you're slow. He's so quick. I tame it? I tamed it. Kid, you want a treat? Oh, so it was just corrupted. Oh, that's nice. And now he's a happy forest cat squirrel. <laughs> this thing definitely has to be feral. The the way it's as fast as it is, there's no way this isn't a uh, feral spirit. <laughs> He is Kappa! I don't know what kind of human fucked a Kappa, but... If he's calling out Kappas and shit, and he has a shell, he's part Kappa for sure. What? <laughs> That was a fun mission. A lot of intense moments. I think my favorite part was the double cats. That was hilarious. Alright, Kamatachi. Quick attack damage, dash key consumption, anima charge. And 10% on soul core drop rate during yokai shift. Tomb it costs 10. What does it do? Boom, 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 boom. That looks like it destroys. Blood on the wind unlocked. Hey, the rest of our dojo missions are here. We got fire gods, magatama, swordsmith's hammer. Kappa dance on this one. Hollow fortress. And then down here is the sorry gesture. Well, first thing I want to do is just go to shrine real fast and check my guardian spirits. So I didn't actually get a guardian spirit from him, but I got his, uh, his core. So. Tachi. So right now we have blue. We have blue, purple. Blue, purple, and red. See, what I don't get is I thought... Okay, no, it is. Okay, so the blue, purple, and red coordinates to Phantom, Brute, or Feral. The actual color of the spirit, I don't think that indicates anything. Like, this happens to be yellow, because we have yellow, blues, and reds, but I think it's the, the purple I need to coordinate with. So, if I was to use a Feral, like with him, I should be using 
group stuff. Whereas with these guys, I should be using Phantom. I think if that my understanding is correct, that's what I should be doing. Um, so since he's feral, I kind of want to and I'm a charge bonus, cumulative damage. Yeah, this is anima bonus based on guard. Increase attack based on Enrita absorption, auto grave recovery, imbue purity, bind rice drop rate. Um, so let's go back to Ame no Matori. And then for our cores, I'm going to put Motachi on. And then for the remainder, I have what, five? I was using, um, what's it called? For the drop rate, I think. I don't see him now. I mean, Enki is always a safe bet. I just want to look at some stats. Wait a minute. Did I? Let me... Oh, he's at 13 out of 14. I guess I was. Um... For the soul core drop rate. But I should go for something that's blue to get the maximum bonus. So like the umbrella. And I'm a bonus on absorption key. Blade. Well, you know what? We're, we're at 30 minutes. Let me, I'll wrap this up. I'm going to mess around with stuff, kind of uh, get, get it tweaked, if you will. And then we'll continue on. So stay tuned. I'll see you guys soon with more.